today we are going to show you how to install the CAD CAM software. First thing you're going to do is hop on the Ole interwebs and go to torchmate.com. Here you're going to hit up in the search bar, just type in CAD. Once you've done that, scroll down. This first searched item here should say CAD CAM downloads. Like that. On this screen, you're going to see a whole bunch of different versions that you can download. The one you are going to download that is free is this one right here, the student soft. Once you click that, it'll start the download. There are a handful of videos showing how to install or unzip. I'm not sure what the correct terminology is on this, but once it's downloaded, you can go in, open it up. We'll give this a second to download. I'm going to hit this setup application. Something like this should pop up on your screen. We're going to hit OK. CAD link setup is preparing. And you'll just follow the prompts. Hit accept. Full install. We're using standard. Then it's going to take a moment to install this. You can choose to install this. Or not, I think you can go in and install your font later. We'll get to that in a moment. And you will just hit finish. Once you've done that, you should be able to come in and open up your TorchMate application. All right, now when you open this CAD up for the very first time, it may show this rectangle standing up hot dog style, but it also may show it horizontally, landscape style. We need to switch it from portrait to landscape if when it is downloaded on your computer, landscape. And we've got to change some more, some other things, and I'm going to show you how to do that. This is the very first things you need to do before you start designing or doing anything. You're going to come up here to layout. Scroll down to material size. Right now you can you could select this, but the easiest way to flip it is in dimensions. If it's ran landscape, you are going to change the width from 96 inches, 8 feet, to 4 feet, 48 inches. You'll just flip these two numbers. All right, when you open it, it may show that this is 96 and this is 48. You just gotta flip it. Think of this rectangle as your sheet of metal that we would buy brand new, four foot by eight foot. And the front of our machine where the screen is, is right here. We've always got to know our orientation because we're always going to be placing all of our jobs in the bottom left. That's where zero is. That's where home is on the machine. After you've flipped the material blank, the next thing I want you to do is come up here to these current nubs and change it from this anchor point to the bottom left. Like I just mentioned, everything works off of the bottom left, so we're going to change this to the bottom left as well. Once you've done that, you can then start designing and, and drawing up whatever it is you wanted to make. Couple of features here with your mouse is your scroll. When you scroll it up, it zooms in. When you scroll out or down, it's, it zooms out. Wherever this mouse is pointing, that's where it's going to zoom in. It can be confusing it in the beginning. Now your left mouse clicker is how you'll select and do a lot of things, click and drag. And your right clicker can edit some guidelines and things like that. Or when it comes to editing nodes and whatnot, the right clicker will come into play a lot more. We'll get to that in other videos. That is how you install the TorchMate CAD software on your computer at home. There is a way, I just found this out, that you can download this CAD software onto an Apple computer. Years past, I didn't know that there was a way to do that, but we've just figured it out. 
otherwise Apple doesn't, it cannot or chooses not to run any CAD software like this. And if you have Apple products at home, you miss out because you aren't able to put it on your computer and work the application. But if you, and there's videos and I'll try to find more information on that and, and put it in the description. But that is the first few steps you're gonna do to install this on your computer.